This is the Wax Olive Explorer Blazer from Rogue Territory. It's extremely functional and durable, but it does have some faults. So let's get into it. <music> So Road Territory made this as a kind of a hybrid between a traditional hunting jacket and a, a deck jacket and a chalk coat. So you'll see uh, various cues from each of those kind of jackets on, on this one. Uh, and considering the, the raglan sleeves for one and also the massive cargo pockets as well that I'll show you in a minute. Now it's made from a seven ounce waxed sailcloth. It's the same cloth that you would have seen in their patrol shirt they had recently. Uh, and I love waxed anything. So that was a big draw that brought me into it. Wax is, gives you that that kind of durable, kind of outdoorsy kind of uh, ruggedness to any kind of garment. So that's one of the draws that brought me to this uh, Explorer blazer. Now it features ample storage, as I said, it's got those cargo pockets that are top down, it's got gusseted pockets on the side, it's got a pen pocket here, it's got a chest pocket here, and it's also got a internal pocket right there for your phone. So there's loads of storage, uh, and th that is another thing that made me wanna uh, get this jacket, it's very, um, it's very functional in, in terms of everything that it's got on it. Now if I take it off and talk about the construction, one of the good things about it is it's got fully tapered seams all the way through. I'll show you that here. So there you go, fully taped seams all the way through. It has a, I think that's a cotton twill uh, uh, strip there that you've got that sort of anchors those outside pockets as well. And that is on both sides. It, one of the cool fu functions about this as well, it's got a bottom vent here. Uh, it's double needled all the way down uh, to that bottom vent. And there's a really cool little angle that pays off down the bottom here where the vent is. And that's really, really cool. Right, let's talk about the things I don't like. And there's a couple of them before I move on to things I actually like. First, first and foremost is when I got this, I wore it on a country weekend away. You might have seen that in my country video. Uh, and after one wear, the bottom button, uh, you'll see it in the video uh, actually came off and it came off with ease. It was almost like it wasn't stitched on correctly. Uh, so that's not something I would expect from a uh, rugged outdoorsy kind of shell over layer um, that's supposed to kind of take a beating, I guess. Uh, to their credit, uh, Rogue uh, Territory offered for me to, uh, offered to pay for me to send it back to them. Uh, and then they were gonna stitch the button back on and send it back to me. I thought that was a bit excessive uh, and it's really easy to stitch a button back on. So decline that and restitch it on ourselves. Uh, so that is is one thing. Secondly, the way it's been designed is it's been opened up in the front. So th there's been an allowance here for, for um, what do you call it, for layering. Uh, but I don't find that kind of translates through to the sleeve. So uh, as you see here, I've got a, I think I've got a 10 ounce loop wheeled sweatshirt on underneath this. And there's, there's ample room in the front here. You can see I've got loads of room here. But in the sleeves, it is kind of, it's kind of tight. Um, so when I take this off, you'll see a lot of the times I have to grab the jacket and pull the jacket off because it's really tight uh, on there. I wouldn't really like to have anything thicker under there. And I have been wearing my UES um, extra heavy flannel and that as well has been really tight in the sleeves. It opens up because it's got raglan sleeves up here. That's fine, but it's just in the, in the lower half of the sleeve that I don't really find it really that comfortable with layers on underneath. The third thing, is I don't like how short the sleeves are. And you'll see here, when I'm wearing anything that's normal, this is just a normal uh, sleeve. Uh, this one's been folded under, but uh, when a normal shirt or anything under, uh, else is being worn, it, it just comes all the way out. And when I've got my uh, flannels on, they come all the way as well, out as well. And I, I kind of expect a, uh, a durable outer layer to kind of cover it all the way down to the bottom. That is why I think this maybe be a might be a fashion piece more than a functional piece, even though it does have some functionality for, for that kind of stuff. The last thing I think is kind of uh, a little bit strange was the sizing. I am uh, around six foot, I am uh, 80 kilos, I don't know what that is in pounds, uh, but I usually would get a medium in everything, t-shirts, you know, rough, roughly a 40 to 42 chest. Uh, for this I had to get a large, which I thought would be ample uh, room for layering in the sleeves and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there is ample space, as I said in here, uh, but in the sleeves, maybe not. Uh, I think if I went to an extra large, uh, the sleeves might be a bit better, but obviously it would be way out of proportion in the chest area. So I think the sizing maybe needs to be a little bit looked at, or potentially I'm buying this for the wrong reason, more uh, I'm buying it for an outdoor coat. Maybe I should look at Black Barber or something like that. I don't know, um, but it, it, it 
so far has been been good minus those few little quirks now let's get to what I actually do like about this thing. And there is there is a few things I, I like about this. I bought this to be an outdoorsy kind of throw on that we can put things in the pockets, ample pockets, that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, take on dog walks and you've got all the various different things you need in the pockets. And it's been fantastic for that, absolutely fantastic. With the weather we've had recently in London, with the rain, with the sleet and the snow, I've just thrown this on, thrown everything in the pockets, easy to access. I've had to pick the dog up a few times because there was, mud and puddles and I had mud on here and that is what you want in, a, in an outdoor kind of waxed jacket and it, so it's been perfect in that sense. And durability wise apart from the button falling off which is kind of minor uh, it's been perfect we've thrown everything at it water dirt you know muck it's been fine nothing seems uh, flimsy or uh, gonna be unstitched or pull apart it seems like it's been constructed very strongly and very uh, well thought out if that makes sense and one of the other things I really love about this is the uh, the locker loop I think they call it it's just it's made out of I think it's the same cotton twill that they've got here that locks in the pockets it's just nice it's soft it's sturdy it's uh, it's just a really really nice addition uh, it's not just a little piece of flimsy string uh, it's it's really nice the last thing is the, co the color and, and how it looks it just looks good so even if you're wearing it as a fashion piece uh, with a white t-shirt underneath i imagine in the spring and summer this is going to be fantastic to wear uh, unbuttoned kind of thing uh, it just looks good it's a tailored kind of jacket uh, and 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 so it, it does have a place in my wardrobe for that spring dog walks summer dog walks that kind of stuff uh, it's it's going to be fantastic so to wrap it up pricing wise comes in about 350 us dollars but i bought this in black friday so it was around i think it was like 200 so look for deals if you can look for uh, black friday you can get uh, from the rogue territory site they always do black friday deals which is really really handy uh, i think overall I, I like the coat there's a place in my wardrobe but more importantly, it's actually a place in my girlfriend's wardrobe because since I've had this, uh, she's been uh, loving throwing this on and taking the dog for a walk. Uh, on her, obviously, the sleeves come down, it's very baggy, it just fits everything in the pocket. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to give this to the girlfriend and maybe I'll look at another one or a different size or something like that. So it definitely has a place in our household, definitely. Uh, so it's something to look at, something to take into consideration if you're going to be buying one of these. But as I said, it, for me, it feels a little bit more fashion over functionality. And, uh, and, and, and while it looks good and it sort of fits the bill uh, in terms of storage and that kind of stuff, I do and I am still looking for something that is a bit more outdoorsy uh, that I can you know, throw everything in and just uh, throw the elements at it, if that makes sense, and not have to worry about it falling apart or, or ripping or breaking or a button falling off in this instance. So. That is something that I'm gonna be continuing to look for in my journey for a really good outdoor coat. Right, that's gonna be it guys. Hope you enjoyed that. As I said, I've had this for a little while now. I had it in the new uh, Black Friday last year. Been taking it out, trialing it out. I just wanted to hold on to it and try it a bit before I gave my honest thoughts about it. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. More of this stuff coming in the future. And with that being said, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.